Hello everyone, peace of the Lord with everybody. Today uh, my topic is regarding the black stone. You know, all of us, we knew that Muslims, they do kiss the black stone. I don't, I don't think it's a secret for anyone. And uh, many maybe wonder why Muslims, they do kiss the black stone. Now, if you ask Muslims, <coughs> why you Muslims kiss the black stone, they will say to you, uh, this is uh, a stone that was fell down from heaven. And you will see them making a lot of uh, stories that this stone is unique, there is no stone in this earth like that, you know, this is all is a garbage. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> if the stone is falling down from a uh, different planet, uh, well there is millions billions trillions of stones in the top of this earth is coming from different planet and we see them every day falling down in the top of the earth some of them they burn all before they arrive some of them a little piece will lift when they hit the ground sometimes big piece too uh, so either this stone is from the earth or it's coming from different uh, somewhere uh, there is no excuse for anyone to claim that he is a prophet who worship one God to kiss that stone <clears throat> now before we we see uh, 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 you know or, or talk about Muhammad kissing the black stone and Muslims kissing the black stone the question is do the Muslims or the Muslims is the only ones who was kissing the black stone or Arab all of them before Islam with no exception uh, 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 when I say Arab with no exception I mean all the Arab who worship the woman, the women vagina isn't it true that the black stone was an idol one of the idols in the Kaaba and it was attached to the Kaaba as part of it because it was a woman vagina and those Arab who used to worship this stone as a creation or a creator or a starter they believe in a philosophy which you know what this is from where we start this is from where we created it's very well known that the black stone it was a, a god of a sexual religion exists before Islam and Arab a lot of Arab used to kiss the black stone before Muhammad which mean as long this stone is exist as long this stone was kissed as long this stone was worshipped by people who have nothing to do with Islam before Islam the question is why Muhammad is doing that now before we go and see why Muhammad he did that I would like to take uh, uh, you know take you with me in a little journey <clears throat> to show you does it make sense what I'm saying that the black stone is a woman vagina idol now this is the black stone as you see in front of your eyes you look and you tell me what does that represent why the black stone look like this this is a frame and the frame is exactly as a stone is the frame is just a protection for the stone from being uh, uh, you know uh, damaged <coughs> And you will see how smooth it is from inside and you will see the shape of this stone you know I think all of us we have eyes and if we go from far this is how is the stone look at it and this is the Muslims kissing the stone and why they kiss it because the Prophet of Islam he did kiss it <coughs> now if you ask why he kiss it Muslims will say to you well because it's a stone from heaven but you know this doesn't give you an answer really because what a stone from heaven have to do with kissing a stone so what if it's a stone? even if it's you know what even if Allah himself was sitting with his, his butt in the top of that stone are you going to kiss a stone the Muslims they talk about some Christians who do uh, they kiss uh, 
a status of Mary. You know, for me as a Christian, we don't approve that. The Christian who do that, for sure, he is making some, you know, a mistake. And we are not allowed. The Ten Commandments is very clear. We cannot, and we should not, even make a status for anyone as an idol. But if you make a status as a, a, a uh, as art that's fine you know but not to worship if you make a picture all, all of you you have picture for your son your your wife your uh, wherever you know but you don't worship that picture it's a picture because this man or this woman or this kid means something to you in here it is not a picture in here this is a stone it's not your son it's not your wife represent nothing do the stone represent Allah I don't think a Muslim he can say yes if no why you kiss it is that a stone holy if a Muslim say to me this is a holy stone I will laugh because how the stone will be holy if there is a holy stone I thought only Allah is holy Muslims they have a lot of funny beliefs about this stone this stone according to Muslims used to be white and became dark because this stone when you kiss it is going to suck your sin it's going to suck your sin well actually the belief of sucking it was coming from the sexual belief before Muhammad for this stone this stone people used to believe that when you kiss it is going to suck your sperm and even uh, uh, Arab men used to do uh, a lot of things with this stone as uh, sexual uh, uh, God and we will show you what they used to do and don't be surprised please because what you will hear now maybe you never heard before maybe this video will not be enough to talk about it but I will try to make it shorter this is Quran and this is an explanation of the Quran this is Surah 7 verse 31 and by the way I can show you in many verses in the Quran that those verses they came for this purpose in this Surah if we go to the explanation uh, the, the translation uh, uh, you know the translation it says that every human being should take your decoration when you go your beautiful apparel at every time and the place of prayer okay what does that mean wear your beautiful apparel at every time and the place of a prayer let us go back to the explanation to see what does that mean exactly you see we don't explain Quran we read Muslims explanation and the Muslim explanation will tell us about what this means and here it says and this is was an order for every mankind and it mean or it meant to go to those people the Arab who used to go around the Kaaba totally naked totally naked this is Al Qurtubi if you go to Al Ibn Kathir you will see it's saying the same if you go to Al Jalalain you will see it's saying the same so now the question the black stone look like a vagina we have a proof that people walk naked around the Kaaba kissing that black stone which an idol for them as God of a vagina and after that they go and they do sexual relationship mixed sexual, like you go there and until now by the way all all the Hajj exactly is as what those people used to do before Islam those people who used, who used to worship the vagina they used to do exactly what the Muslims are doing now until now Muslims are not allowed to wear an underwear when they go around the Kaaba you will see Muslims wearing a sheet but they are naked they are wearing no clothes no clothes you will see the man showing all of his chest and he is wearing no underwear and the women too she is not allowed to wear an underwear no lingerie no bra nothing you cannot wear it now why why you cannot wear it and what the underwear have to do with Allah 
if someone will say to you because this will make you cleaner this is stupid I will continue in the second video you know to explain to you about this more please follow up in part two